Hi, I'm going to go over my experience with vaginal delivery and vaginismus. So when I was pregnant, I did address my concerns to my OB about trying for a vaginal delivery. And she said that vaginismus should not impact it. And I was all good to go to try for that. So that was good to hear. Um, when I was 39 weeks, I started having contractions, but my water had not broken. The contractions were pretty close together. So we did head over to the hospital. When we got to the hospital, the doctor said in order to admit me, um, they had to do a cervical check. My water wasn't broken and I had to be dilated enough in order for them to admit me. So I said, okay, um, can I have some kind of pain management or is this where I would get my epidural? in order to go ahead with the cervical check they said they can't give me anything at all for pain until after i was admitted um and i had explained to them that i had vaginismus and all of that but i really was not left any other choice and at this point the contractions were already pretty painful so i decided to go ahead with okay all right I decided to go ahead with the cervical check, obviously. So one of the nurses like held my hand and she gave me prompts to like do deep breathing and all of this. And the doctor was really gentle and she was kind. So, I mean, that helped, but obviously it was still painful. She let me guide her. I believe it was two fingers or is it three? I'm not sure. Um, inside the vaginal canal to um do the cervical check it did hurt but i wanted to get it over quickly so i tried to relax as much as i could and um you know i got through it but i was not prepared for that part <laughs> so i was four centimeters dilated at that point and i was admitted i chose to labor naturally for like four to five hours after that and then I decided to get an epidural. So they did not do any cervical checks or anything like that from the point that I was admitted until I got my epidural. Once I got my epidural, after a few hours, they did do a cervical check and I did not feel that at all. It did not hurt at all. I didn't feel any like anything really, honestly. So that was really like relieving to see that the epidural was working. And then the next cervical check they did, um, I was 10 centimeters dilated at that point. So I was ready to push. Um, I did not have any issues with pushing. I know some people do when they get an epidural, um, but I was able to like follow the prompts and I didn't have any issues. Um, you know, at this point I still wasn't feeling the contractions and it was like it just, it wasn't hurting, it just felt like a little bit of pressure. So when the baby was coming out, I didn't feel any pain in the, the birth canal. Um, I didn't feel pain when the baby came out either. And then after the baby came out, I had a second degree tear. So the doctor was gonna stitch that up and that also, okay. My lighting is not great. All right, so that also was not painful. Um, I can't remember if they took the epidural out before or after the stitching, um, but either way, I didn't feel the pain for that. I did have a lot of issues like that are not related to vaginismus throughout my experience, but I'm not gonna get into them too much. Um, I'll mention a little bit. So after they took the epidural out and they took the catheter out, um, I also lost a lot of blood. So I had to get a blood transfusion and they had to put the catheter back in, which was painful because I didn't have the epidural anymore, but I wasn't able to get out of bed. I could barely keep my head up. And I had a lot of swelling, like 
a lot of swelling in the vaginal area and like everywhere down there so that was another reason aside from the blood loss that i had to like get the catheter back in um i was able to get the catheter out the next day and that part was painful it's not related to vaginismus but i think sometimes for us like for people who have vaginismus it's just like anything to do with anything related down there like any kind of interventions it's just kind of a little bit anxiety provoking um but yeah so whatever i was able to get the catheter out afterwards and i did have a lot of swelling so that did cause me a lot of pain and it was like a very long time i want to say like a few months until i was able to like sit without pain or swelling it was definitely above average <laughs> swelling that i had but I got through that part. I don't know if that had anything to do with my vaginismus or like maybe it was like perineal massage or maybe it was just like my react, like my body's reaction to delivering vaginally. I don't know. But overall, I would say that I think I definitely made the right choice of getting an epidural during, this was my first delivery. So I felt like it just, like now I know what to expect and like what it would be like, you know, to have contractions and what it would be like to give birth. So I feel like I'm much more prepared now for the next delivery if I have another delivery. But I think for my first delivery and having vaginismus, I'm really glad that I got the epidural, even though I had to get a cervical check before. I hope this was helpful. And if you have any other questions, please leave them below. Thank you.